Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Because His compassions fail not, they are new every morning. Great is His faithfulness. Hello everyone and welcome to Mornings with the Master, an inspiring devotional from the Blue Mountain Seventh-day Baptist Church. This morning's devotional is entitled, Will You Be Ready? And our focus passage is St. Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 to 13. Let's read the passage. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise ones, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time in coming and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, the cry rang out, Here's the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, or lamps are going out. No, they replied, there may not be enough for both us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later, the others also came. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, truly I tell you, I don't know you. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know the day or the hour. Have you ever had to prepare for a special function? Getting everything together can be quite hectic. All the segments must come together beautifully for the grand occasion. There is no room for unpreparedness. Today's passage shows us five wise virgins who were prepared for a wedding feast. They had sufficient oil in their lamps and they had some to spare, so they did not have to panic when the bridegroom arrived. Not so for those who were described as foolish. They did not think ahead. They saw no need for bringing extra oil for their lamps. Simply put, they were unprepared. Before they knew it, it was too late and the door to the wedding feast was shut. They didn't make it in. Why? They were not ready. The question we should be asking ourselves is, am I ready? If Jesus should return at this moment, am I ready to meet him? If I should die in my current state, will I rise as one who is ready to meet him? The first step in being prepared to meet the master is to accept Jesus Christ who is the only way. Being in a relationship with Jesus Christ is not easy. Our journey with him is oftentimes filled with many ups and downs. Regardless, we keep pressing, seeking the Lord daily and recommitting our lives to him. We must stay close to him for narrow is the road which leads to eternal life and we must walk therein. Meeting the master also requires us to deny our carnal desires and seek the will of the Almighty. In this time, when the reality of how limited the time we have left on earth is, we cannot be lazy. We must arise with zeal and passion and seek after God with our whole being. He said, if you seek me, you will find me when you have searched for me with all your heart. Draw nigh to me and he promises that he will reciprocate. James 5 and verse 8 tells us that we must be patient. We must stand firm because the coming of the Lord is near. Let us not allow what happened to the five foolish virgins to happen to us. Let us not allow the Lord to find us unprepared. Let's live our lives in a way that is pleasing to him. Let's live as if this very moment is our last and how will he find us? Jesus is coming soon. 
let's get ready and stay ready. I invite you to pray with me. Heavenly Father, you are King of our lives. You are our strength and we give you glory. We thank you for the fact that you looked beyond our faults and you saw a need for us to come in relationship with you. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have kept us for such a time as this. You have preserved our lives for this time. And we thank you, mighty God, for the gift of salvation that you have given unto us. We praise you, Lord, that you found it possible to send your Son to die in our place so that we can have free access to you. Lord, we know you love us so much. And we ask, oh God, that you will help us to reflect you in everything that we do. Lord, may we always live in a state of readiness to meet you. Because one day soon, mighty God, one day very soon, the clouds will go will, will be rolled back as a scroll. And so, Lord, we pray that when you come, when we shall put in your appearance, we will be ready to go with you. Lord, I pray that the baggages of this world will not weigh us down, that we will not become complacent, but that we will arise and that we will live with you. Father, I pray that you will help us to go through this life. May we never forget the sacrifice that you have made, and may we never forget that you are dependent on us to share others with this good message, to share with others this good message of salvation. Lord, I ask that you will take charge of everything that concerns us. May we find rest in you, and may we find in you, Lord, life that is filled with joy and peace. Father, I know that the challenges that we face may cause us to, to be discouraged, but help us, O oh God, to trust in you and to lift up our faith to you and our head to the hills from the of your head. And we understand that our head is from you. So, Lord, we ask at this moment that you will take charge. We ask that you will be in the lead and, Lord, allow us to stand in your shadow and that, Lord, we will find our path, our path Father, guide us on this journey. Help us to meditate on your words. Help us to focus our attention on you and not to be caught up with the troubles of this world and the things of this world. Help us to live for you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. I was blessed to have spent this time reflecting on God's word with you in mornings with the master it is my prayer that you were inspired that you were challenged and that you were lifted i invite you to join us next time for another transforming word from the lord be sure to like our facebook page at blue mountain seventh day baptist church follow us on instagram at blue mountain sdb underscore church subscribe to our youtube channel and share this video with a friend until next time may the lord bless you and protect you may the lord smile on you and be gracious to you may the lord show you his favor and grant you his peace many many blessings That was Mornings with the Master from the Blue Mountain Seventh-day Baptist Church.